In Russia, it began to be openly discussed that Ramzan Kadyrov's Chechens had betrayed Russia and entered into a separate agreement with Ukraine, according to Ziare media outlet. It is noted that Russian Z military bloggers claim that Kadyrov's men from the Akhmet unit backstabbed the Russians, avoiding a clash with the Ukrainian armed forces during the attack on the Kursk region. A former Wagner mercenary, who goes by the name Alex Parker, has shared on his Telegram page that Kadyrov's forces were well informed about the Ukrainian advance and intentionally allowed them to proceed. The deal was reportedly facilitated through an intermediary, Hussein Jambatov, a former Ukrainian soldier who later returned to Chechnya. Russian military propagandists have expressed outrage, accusing Kadyrov of betraying Russia by orchestrating a secret non-aggression pact with Ukraine. This alleged treachery has fueled claims that Kadyrov's men abandoned their positions and avoided combat rather than defending the Russian frontier. Recent Russian media reports have further criticized Kadyrov's units for reportedly fleeing from the border and failing to engage in the ongoing conflict, abandoning their strategic posts. This situation has sparked heated discussions and raised concerns about the reliability of Kadyrov's forces amid the larger backdrop of the ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine. Kadyrov's men understood the balance of forces and did not want to lose their fighters by simply allowing the Ukrainian armed forces to enter Russian territory. The puzzle is complete, writes a Russian military propagandist, accusing Kadyrov of betraying Russia. Recall. Ukraine's operation in Kursk Oblast has allowed it to seize temporarily the battlefield initiative in part of the front line and contest Russia's theater-wide initiative. Ukraine has consolidated its control over parts of Russia's Kursk region that it seized in a 10-day offensive, announcing Thursday the appointment of a military commander to run the area and new military successes. In the city of Sumy, not far from where Ukrainian troops surprised the world by storming into Russia, wounded soldiers also described operations in the southern Belgorod region, the Washington Post reports. It is noted that this suggests an even larger scale of the offensive, which changes the perception abroad that Ukraine has found itself on the losing side of the conflict. In contrast to the relatively easy time Ukrainian troops had in Kursk, including news of another 100 Russian soldiers being captured, the fighting in the Belgorod region was fierce. Three soldiers, including a commander, described how they were sent to Russia after months of deployment along the border. They crossed the border in armored vehicles in broad daylight, Four days ago, said Hacker, 24, speaking on condition that he be identified only by his first name or call sign in line with Ukrainian military regulations. As they prepared to cross the border at Kolotilovka, the same place where prisoners had been exchanged earlier, he recalled thinking to himself that this was a crazy move. In contrast to the rapid advance through Kursk, the troops in the Belgorod region appeared to be prepared for their arrival. The area was fortified with dragon's teeth, anti-tank obstacles and heavily mined and the troops almost immediately came under intense attack from artillery, drones and airstrikes. The Ukrainians advanced about 10 kilometers, the soldiers said, capturing abandoned Russian positions, but the fighting remained intense. Our entire group was wounded the day we arrived, Hacker said. He was afraid that he might be killed in Russia because we didn't know their territory. We were working blind, he added. Russia has not acknowledged the ground fighting in the Belgorod region, but the governor there declared a state of emergency earlier this week. The shelling was so intense that survivors were forced to take refuge in Russian trenches for several days until armored vehicles arrived on Thursday morning to evacuate them for medical care. Among the six evacuees was Commander Sergei 48, whose right leg had been severely injured by a drone more than a day earlier. He underwent surgery immediately upon arrival in Ukraine. We were being shot at by everyone, he said. 